Hello and welcome back to my let's play of XCOM 2 uh, Iron Man mode War of the Chosen on Commander difficulty where last time we finally got some of our upgrades or a lot of them actually so we should be having an easier time from now on I will start with my next mission is gonna be Guerrilla Ops um will countering will i guess i don't know it's not that important but we will get a sniper and intel costs increased by 100 percent is kind of annoying so i'm gonna go for that even though the payoff isn't that good well, I guess we can use the we can use all of the um, we can use the supplies on upgrades as well. So it's always good, I guess. Um, I don't. Well, I think it's not so bad if we take another. Okay, so trains aren't that bad for having multiple snipers on them because they um, because uh, trains have long si lines of sight and uh, snipers can obviously take advantage of that. We can now equip two items on each of our soldiers. So we'll think about making some, but we don't have any supplies so that solves that problem we are going to equip our superior scope onto one of our snipers um, yes I also will equip an auto loader onto this sniper because it allows us to reload once and still use the gun We'll change the color because I, I don't know, I don't like the color that they start with, but it's not really that big of a deal, so I probably won't be doing it for anything else. Um, it will be good if we can level up our specialist, but I also really want to take a heavy with me, and she is not a specialist. Okay, so our reaper's out five days, which isn't really that bad. Oh, so we we are going to take out our skirmisher and we are counter to what I just said not going to level up our um, specialist but we are going to take out the ranger we should see if we can upgrade his gun in any productive way I guess a repeater is good. Repeater can give you an instant kill chance. Standard repeater isn't really that good, but he shoots. He can shoot up to twice on each round, which is makes a repeater on his gun pretty useful. Um, still gonna keep the magnetic rifle on our ranger because we haven't bought the ranger upgrade yet. Because we need 50 more. Um, 30 more supplies to do that. He can also take an additional grenade. And I think we're done here then. Let's start the mission. Sky Ranger deployed. We're in the pipe. Five by five. Yeah, so I'm, I'm excited because of the upgrades. I think we'll have a great time. Oh, I think I took two snipers, but that's fine. Two snipers are good on train missions. It'll be fine. Nothing bad can happen, I'm sure of it. Resistance forces operating out of this area tipped us to an advent train carrying a data vault full of records critical to the aliens' latest project. This is our 
our chance to slow their efforts. So we're moving in to seize that vault one way or another. Take out all hostile contacts and lock down the area. We need to secure those assets. Yeah. That'll be good. So we'll see how useful Mox is at the beginning. He is still a squaddy, I think, so he doesn't have very many useful talents yet. But he'll improve with time. And take him out on the mission is a good first step. So I hope he improves quickly enough. Also, I got really spoiled on my last uh, campaign because my Reaper actually had Shredder available to her and she was um, a savant in combat IQ I guess which is just um, a measure of how many points they get for leveling up and if self-detonating charges are in place at the target move to disarm and extract the package before its contents are destroyed Okay, so with the snipers, I am pretty much going to put them in the front of the train. So they have a long line of sight. They can't take out the turret that I can hear now. But they can shoot at pretty much everything else. Or maybe I'll just stick to one side with the snipers and um, hopefully lure everybody onto that side. All of the enemies so we have seven rounds to get here or to get line of sight on the objective with our hacker or our what's his name uh, our specialist he should be oh he's probably spot he's not spotted well wow, that's that's really lucky actually so I will position him here where you should still be able to see the turret. Um, so we do have a time constraint on this mission so we really need to keep moving as much as we can. Running. We're not gonna attack the turret on the first turn. But we, okay, so counter to what I said before, I'm going to position my sniper here. Because also this full cover will block, the full cover that my specialist is in will block her view over almost the entire map. Okay, so I really hope she isn't seen here. She shouldn't be seen by the turret, but maybe there's a pod up ahead that we can't see yet. There isn't at this point, which is good. And with um, with her, I don't really know what to do because all the good cover is taken, so I'll just put her here. Getting it done. She's going to be our designated uh, killer of sectoids. So I'm just going to put him into overwatch and... So what we are going to do now is pretty much just shoot at the tur turret with our snipers. Hey, that's almost a guaranteed kill, which is great. So we need, well, we need maximum damage, but... And we got it. So she actually leveled up, which is great. This was just pretty much the best that could have happened. Don't want to move the sniper because it will not be good for us. So I'm going to advance with Let's him. And then... So really, you can't have any good cover, can you? Um... Okay, I'm actually going to move him up even further where he's probably going to find a pod, but we still have a lot of actions on the Turn remaining three. Around. Well, he didn't find a pod. That's surprising and good. This means I can probably move him here. I go 
with very low risk of finding a new pot. Sniper doesn't need to move. Um, I don't want to advance any further. Because if we find a pot now, we're in bad shape. And finding them on their turn is just the best case scenario. So we should be able to kill the Sectoid using our... Um, using our Ranger. And we're going to try to take out the... Oh, you can't see anything. That's just great. We're going to try to take... What I was going to say is we're going to try to take out the purifier with our snipers but they can't see shit and that's just fucking amazing um in well i'm gonna melee the sectoid from here so i think the sectoid is bugged out i think the position where the sec no it's actually behind here it's great Okay, because I can't use the square above that, but that's not such a big deal. Oh, I, I'm actually targeting the explosive. That makes a lot more sense. So assuming I can take out the purifier, don't know if this is a good idea, because we... Oh, I see the problem. The purifier is behind... There's this... Uh, thing in the way between the purifier and our field of view which is just fantastic but if we attack the sectoid with our ranger we can use this cover where we can actually see the purifier pretty well. We could also flank the purifier, but then we'd have a big problem trying to kill our uh, kill the sectoid, which is bad. So we already have a pretty big problem getting to the purifier because of this goddamn uh, pillar here. Okay, so Anyways, I'm gonna have to move my snipers because of that fucking pillar. I don't even know what... Well, okay. Well, I guess the car is blocking her view. So all I can do with her is move her here and shoot my pistol at the sectoid. Which missed. If we... Ma for some reason managed to kill the sectoid with pistols well, I can just blow him up I guess okay so now this leaves us I hope this doesn't trigger a new pod But we can now flank the purifier and shoot him instead of knifing the sectoid, which I hope hits. It did. That is very good. Sectoid also does not have cover any longer, so we should be able to kill him by using someone. So he's a he has a 75% chance. And we got him, which is great. So for the rest of the turn, we're just going to advance slightly with, I think he might be the only remaining member we have. Here I come. So we don't want to find the next pod at all. That would just be terrible. Okay, so we only have four turns left, so we kind of, we really need to get moving. But we also really don't want to kill our units. Wait, you can see. Okay, so we know that there's a pod that's affected by 
blowing up this barrel. I will move up Mox to maybe find the next pot. We still have all of our, our second actions. Oh wow, there's a... Okay, so it's not such a bad pot. We are... Hopefully... Wait, we cannot justice anyone? Okay, so the unfortunate side effect of us not having heavies is that we have a big problem with cover now. We are gonna throw a grenade because I don't think he can shoot anyone reliably. Well, we'll see what our snipers can do. And they see nothing, which is just very surprising. They're real. So this night. The other sniper is really poorly positioned. If I shoot this, I will do a lot of damage to the mech, which I think is the best cause of action at this time. It also shreds his armor, which is good. Um, if I... I don't know, that's a dangerous gamble. Okay, so Mox apparently does no damage at all. Which is great. I think that's just fucking fantastic. Did I already move you? I did. So I'm gonna shoot at the mech in the hope of killing it. I did, which is great. You are useless, so I'll move you. Oh, I actually... Yeah, so I now took the chance of... Um, destroying the cover of the Viper. So the problem with using my sword on the Viper is that I'm very... I move up quite a bit. So I am very susceptible to finding the next pod. But I do think it's our most reliable means of dealing damage at this point. I could also... Because I, I really don't get that much of a good angle on the Viper. I don't know. It seems like a fool's gambit right now. I, I'm just gonna throw my grenade at the Viper and then shoot it with my sniper. Which will hopefully do the trick. And so I... Well, now I don't... Oh, you, sh you only... I already moved you. Um, yeah, so now... I'm not going to move my... Uh, I'm not going to move my ranger so far up and I because I really don't want to get caught out by finding the next pot. So this went pretty well. But we only have three rounds left. Which is bad. So I think in pretty much any case... Okay so Mox is the furthest forward so we'll just try to find the next pot. We didn't. I really have to get moving, so I will sprint with him. Okay, so we know we are not gonna, we're very unlikely to find a pot here. So I will move up him. And basically we have to be careful well, we just have to have a couple of units up. So basically the specialist just needs line of sight on the objective to be able to hack it. And um, yeah, so I will move up the snipers, which should be good. You can probably get away with moving well, maybe that's not such a good idea. I'll move you here. Will do. 
Should hopefully not trigger the next pot. And then we basically really have to move up. Because we have to get the objective on the next turn, no matter what. Okay, so he didn't find a pot. Seems good. We'll move up Mox. We can... Well, you know what I will actually do? Is... I will... Okay, so I hopefully won't find another... Hmm. I want to move somebody who has a grenade up as far as I can so I can basically just blow up this wall because if I do that I should be able to hack the objective from here and then disable the time problem we have we can blow up yeah so I'm just gonna do this well maybe not uh, maybe it's just we can always do that. Well, if we're forced to do that next round, then it has to work. So I'll try it now and just pretty much waste my grenade. But it should. Uh, did that actually not blow up the. Are you actually kidding me? It showed both of those as red. So now I'm really glad I did it. Is that a bug or something? Because usually if it shows cover as red, you can blow it up. Is how this works. Um, okay, so I can... I need to move him up as much as I can. Which I hope doesn't leave us in too bad of a position. It actually didn't, surprisingly enough. I really don't like that it showed that it would blow up that cover, but it didn't. Um, that's just kind of bad. Out. So we're definitely under a big time crunch now. Menace one five, you're almost out of time. The detonator is about to blow. Okay, so we're just gonna put him right next to. Oh, he can hack from... Now the wall's gone. What the hell? It wasn't gone last round. So it's always good to use your... Um, yeah, I'll just do this. It's always good to use your specialist to hack this. Because you're much more likely to... Uh get the additional buffs and sometimes you can improve their hacking skill permanently which is great and this can make the specialist really useful in the late game at hacking at hacking um, units like the the end game max and things like that which you can't do if you don't get any of the upgrades so yeah we now don't have any additional time crunch so i'm just gonna take it slow because there's no reason to get anybody injured as of this point we'll move her up here because i think she has a better line of sight here so basically we just don't want to find a pot this round because we're almost out of actions I don't even think I will move her here. I'll just put her here. And put everybody on Overwatch. And I expect the pod to be somewhere here because usually the final pod is placed in position where they are seen when looking at the objective. And I... With that expectation, my snipers would be pretty useless if that was true. 
Or maybe not, we'll see. We might have to blow up additional walls for the snipers to be something useful. Okay, so we should find the last part here. So, first, of course, the snipers are completely useless. Which is just fucking fantastic. Can you... No, you can't. I was gonna say, if if she could one-shot the trooper, that would be great, but she can't. So I was thinking about retreating, but I'm not gonna do that. Because I can hit both of those with a thrown grenade, which is good. And it actually should have hit the trooper. Oh no, the trooper's behind the other wall. So I remembered wrong and that is just not good. So I'm gonna move my snipers to at least be able to shoot at these people with my pistol. Which I guess is something. Hard target, minimal damage. But you can already see that... Um, okay, so maybe I will just... Pretty much everything's on fire there and I will not end up in a good position if I oh wait, uh, if I use my I cannot see them from here um, if I use my sword I will be in a bad position okay so we are gonna teleport marks Oh, I think I could have teleported him to the other side, too. Mark still has an action remaining after this shot. So, that is good. And we can use her to shoot with our pistol. Which is good as well. I think... Could take it or leave it at this point. Uh, I kind of want to attack the mech and probably kill it. I think the yeah, I'll just do it. I think the mech will do more damage if it survives than than the trooper will do to her. So we have a 50% shot on the trooper and Mox is actually our last action. So I'll put him in full cover here. To probably reduce the amount, the probability of hitting the trooper because the trooper is in full cover and we will not have a... Oh, we can actually pull the trooper towards us. I will attempt that because it might trigger the trooper to run. If it doesn't, then the trooper can... Well, we one-shot the trooper, which is the best case scenario. So this mission went really smoothly. We got a flawless and I really like it. So I'm really happy. <laughs> but that's just a symptom of having better better equipment so so until the game gets harder which happens periodically um, we're gonna have an easy time on missions so that's really good and I'm also happy that Mox got I think two kills so maybe he leveled up And we also got a lot of supplies, so we should be able to get our next upgrades. We can, I think we have enough alien allies to get one more upgrade. Either the Reaper 
or either the Reaper or the Ranger upgrade I'd probably be going I don't know actually maybe the Reaper upgrade I, I thought I was gonna go with the Ranger but the Rangers have their sword as well which is which is already pretty good and also we don't have that many Rangers so Mox level up, which is great. You will get Shadow Step, which means that we will not be um, triggering Overwatch fire. Which is sometimes useful, but the other, I think. Each of our soldiers is rated based on their understanding of our tactics and capabilities. Something we refer to as combat intelligence. Because of their unique experiences in the field, our faction soldiers from the Resistance will gain access to new abilities based on this combat intelligence. So Mox is gifted, which is very good. Um, I like refle Reflex, because if we get fired upon, we get an extra action next turn, which can be really cool. Um... don't know I don't think I need any of those at the moment we were we we're gonna go for full sniper builds with these people because they are more useful as snipers than they are as gunslingers we have another auto loader which is good you and your crew Another serious blow to the aliens' efforts today, Commander. Impressive work. What can I do for you, so now we're gonna build. Okay, what do we want? Hmm. Hopefully, we'll get the next upgrades. Both of the next upgrades after our next mission. We are going to probably take our Reaper out on our next mission. So I'm going to take the Reaper up too. I think that's good. Flashbang grenades are really good. They help you um, get out of shitty situations. Honestly, none of that really bothers me. What I miss the most is my equipment. I hadn't thought about that. Advent probably had a pretty nice lab set up for you. There was certainly no shortage of resources on their side. Don't worry. I'm sure the commander will find something nice for you. So an engineer would be good. I think... The cooperation of these extremists will do little to unite the forces of your resistance. Okay, what can we scan? Supply rate is awesome. Engineer is very good. Intel is not that useful. We're almost done with scanning for supplies here. So I will finish that off and then probably go for the supply rate. Because that will just help us immensely and maybe we'll get lucky and get alien allies from that. I don't actually know if that happens that way. When inspired, our team is actually quite efficient. So we got more intel, which is good also got our improved swords and we can get improved magnetic weapons which is great because we'll get a plus one damage upgrade to all magnetic weapons I hope that carries over to the tier 3 weapons okay so the next Covert action is gonna go to finding the Templars. Templars using our, our Ranger and a Rookie. Okay, because this will give us a, a faction hero, and that is amazing. I will also level up our Rookie. And then I will end this episode here. What are you? A ranger. Rangers are good.
Okay, thank you very much for watching. I will see you in the next episode. Goodbye.